<laughs> did you see? I'm sorry. <laughs> did you see the um, ex Microsoft engineer who described oh, yeah. the Windows 11 start menu as comically bad? <laughs> if only there was some sort of solution to. Mm. Nope, they don't exist. You can't do that. My mistake. Yeah, I did see that. And then, of course, it's nice to see like all the other what former colleagues jumped in. Like, all right, we'll help you out. And it's like, eh, really? Like, mm. the ship has sailed. Like, we, we know what the objective of Windows is. It's to get people to use Copilot. It's to get people to view things. It's a, a place to put ads. And I know it's a sad, it's a sad end to a, what used to be a noble tradition. <laughs> what are you going to do? Here's like the brilliant thing too. Kind of was like reading again the headlines about Microsoft's going to try to topple Apple with whatever and the Mac. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. And I'm sitting here thinking like, one, I found a, a Verge headline. I'm sure there was a threat. What? Well, you would have been Win Super Site back then. Okay. Well, about what was the topic? It was from 2014, mm -hmm. and it was like Microsoft hopes to take down the MacBook Air with the Surface Pro 3. And it's like, it's the same thing. Like we, it's whatever. I just change the product names in the year and write yeah. the same story. But here, here's, um, the, here's the question, Paul Throat. If Microsoft yep. sat down and said, look, we can beat, we can make a better OS than Mac OS. We can do it. We have the ability. All we got to do is turn off Copilot. Would they do it? No. Exactly. No, I mean, that's the definition of what they're doing right now. Right. It's, they're, they're not, I don't, I, I you got to, when, when we, when we, when we criticize something like this, a product like Windows, you know, you got to remember that this thing has a, a long history and, and thousands of people working on it. Right. And that if you were to find individuals who worked on it in the past or today, 201, uh, they, they're they probably credible, well, I don't know, credible people, but they're, you know, they're, they're serious about the job. They want this thing to be great and everything, but mm -hmm. they're also constrained from on high. I mean, oh, yeah. Um, you know, like one of the big debates on the Mac has always been, well, has long been, right, since the iPhone, wh why don't they do touch on the Mac? I mean, it would, I, and forget all the arguments about whether touch makes sense or doesn't make sense and blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. But they, just from the perspective of they have these uh, products that are really popular that have touch and developers need to use a Mac to create those apps, it would be better for them if they could touch the screen just to test the apps. Mm -hmm. I mean, just for that one reason alone, you know, this would make sense. Um, so that's a debate. I, looking back at it from, uh, you know, the perspective of 10, 15 years later, whatever, I actually think they made the right decision. Uh, yeah. um, and there's, you know, plus or minuses either way. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Windows stuff is a little tougher because they have different concerns and it's, it's just, you know, all I literally just recorded, I've been writing about this a lot lately. I recorded a hot hands on windows about this and it's like, we just, we're at the point now as users where we can try to fix or work around the problems. Um, if you want to take, pull the trigger on the radical step forward, you could switch platforms, I guess it's the grass is always greener, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, there are problems everywhere and transition costs that are very real. And I don't mean dollar costs necessarily. It just costs them. It's hard. Like I, in using a Mac a lot lately, just a simple one little thing because of, you know, it, instead of control C, control V, it's command C, con command V. I will sit down at a Windows computer and hit the alt key to do oh, yeah. shortcuts, <laughs> you know, because your brain is wired a certain way. It's, these things are hard. I mean, we should just be honest about that. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm worried we're going to hit a point where we, you know, the workarounds don't work anymore. That's that's a yeah. an issue. You know, every time you uh, work around a limitation, no matter what it is, it's uh, signing in as a local user, um, uh, the bypassing the hardware requirements, um, accessing the old taskbar, blah blah blah, whatever. It's like okay, you know, they have they have a history of turning that stuff off. You know. Um, and at some point, does Windows become this thing where it's like, I don't, uh, I don't know. I still prefer it. it for all the warts, you know, I still very much prefer it. I've oh, been using course. this MacBook a I lot. Mean. And yeah, I, I, it's real. People, I, you know, it's like, the, it's like the people still ask me if Mexico is safe. <laughs> you know, it's like people just don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's safer in Mexico City at 3 o'clock in the morning than it is where I live here in this rural, beautiful area. I'm sorry. It just is. And in that same way, it's like, yeah, I prefer Windows. It's like, come on, Paul. Like you, 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 you want to go to a Mac and everything. It's like, no, I love the hardware. I do. It's beautiful. Yeah. I very much prefer Windows. 
And, Carl Warren's um, faults, butterfly keys, they really died on that hill. Well, they, yeah, no, nobody's perfect. I mean, they've made mistakes, but, uh, and, and whatever it's worth, like I'm using this thing and, you know, I obviously I, type, I love to keep my hands on the keyboard. I type a lot. The keyboard's great, you know? And then I switch back to a, uh, I don't know, five, eight something year old HP elite, no, uh, HP, uh, fire, what do you call it? Um, what are they, uh, firefly, what is it called? A Z book, a Z book firefly way better keyboard. <laughs> like it's yeah. just, it's perfect. You start hitting, you know, you, you feel the, and, and sort of hear the thunk of the movement and the perfect pitch. And you're like, Oh God, this thing is perfect. So I look, we all have whatever preferences and you know we're all stuck with what we're stuck with some of us are forced to use things whatever most people use a computer just get used to it and they move on it's fine mm -hmm. but um i'm not that person and you know i just didn't i'm sorry but i use a lot of computers and i i still prefer windows there was a it was sort of a funny i guess meme or whatever viral thing or whatever it was mm -hmm. talking about how people in like gen z and potentially younger i don't even know what's under that alpha or whatever mm -hmm are willing to make big purchases on a phone, whereas like the millennials and older generations, no, 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 no. If I'm buying a plane ticket, I need the big screen. I can't do that I, on my phone. Like it's got to be a- That is absolutely a thing. Yeah. That is like, absolutely There's no way I thing. could buy a flight on, a, on my phone. I know you can do nope. it. I will never do that. I <laughs> but... Listen, I uh, this here's a really uh, stupid example of what you just said, because that's, that's, that's absolutely, that, that 100%. But um, we, this is just, this is the dumbest thing in the world. It doesn't matter. We, my wife and I last year joined a wine club at a winery up in New York. And every quarter they send us four bottles of wine mm -hmm. and we can, we can modify that order. And today is the deadline actually for us to change it. We do want to change it. And uh, we were, we have, we meet friends every Wednesday night at that particular time. And, and then the thing, you know, it ran, it ran into the time we had to get going. So I had the thing on my computer. I was like, we got to look at this and make a change to this order. And then we went out and saw our friends. And so we're out in the world. And I, I, I'm like, oh, we got to do that thing. Let, let me do it on the phone. So I brought it up. And then I tried to sign into the website. I couldn't sign into the website. And then I'm like, I had to reset my thing. And it came on the phone. I went through this whole process. And I got to the their site on the phone, you know, where the text is like one point, whatever. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> so to this moment, I still have not made, and this is just, this is, that's nothing. But that shows you kind of the range of things for me as a 50 whatever year old guy like i not doing it like not i can't yeah you don't make big decisions you don't even make small decisions and i could barely order a pizza on a phone like i i'm I absolutely not yeah I, 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 that was exaggerating to make the point but the <laughs> uh yeah no big big purchase i wouldn't order like a like a a computer on a phone yeah, i wouldn't no. uh or a phone on a phone <laughs> i would you know, maybe that's ironic. You go to your computer to order a phone, but I do. I don't think I've ever ordered anything. I think I've ordered a phone on my phone. Yeah, that's what I was just wondering. Maybe, maybe, and maybe. My phone actually through the. Actually, I know I like have the Apple Store app or something. The Apple yeah, Store app was more effective at ordering something than uh, because the website, website was difficult somehow because yeah. everyone was hammering it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, but anyway, that point is absolutely correct. I. I, can't, I, I I struggle to imagine my children making, buying a car, <laughs> like a phone or something. You know, like yeah, that's like when normal. I'm on a flight, there's like seven tabs open on all the monitors. You're looking exactly. at all the different airlines. And yep, that's exactly right. Especially when you're trying to maximize arrive early, so you get most of the time that day, and then you want to leave. We are at a reasonable it's time. Funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not exactly you and I. I guess are. I guess we're different generations, right? I mean, yeah. we're, I'm, I feel like I'm a half generation in front of you or something. But yeah, I, maybe, you're that maybe, uh, yeah. forgotten generation. Yeah, the forgotten. Yeah. You're in between yeah. the millennials and the boomers, and we're all like, "What's that one called again?" Yeah, I don't even know what it's called. Is it called? What is it called? Gen Gen Z, maybe? Is no, that Gen Z is younger. That oh, was it. Gen X. I don't know. Gen X. That's I, well, what it is. That's what it is. Anyway, I don't think of myself as anything. I'm definitely not a boomer. But I, it's interesting to me that you and I are the same in this way but you and my son who just turned 26 are not mm -hmm. so there is this it's an interesting generational divide um but maybe it has to do with um just growing up in a world where this was just the norm you yeah, know i think so. um you you grew up in a world before there were well they were computers obviously but they were computers like they were you know big screens and yep. big i mean big i meant big physically not big display wise but 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, my parents can barely handle an iPad, so mm -hmm. there's something to it. Yeah, I had to try to explain to my kid, uh, was this yesterday or the day before? So she has an Apple Watch that has cellular connectivity, and she's like, what do you mean there's places that don't have internet? Like, she, like explaining how this little device on your wrist is actually communicating to well, the entire world, <laughs> and it doesn't always work that way. Like One of my observations in life is that entitlement happens very quickly and easily that mm -hmm. you could spend most of your life without something and then once you get it you can't imagine not having it and actually i have to say internet connection is a good example of that because obviously i predate this kind of connectivity i used to dial up on a 300 baud modem uh in the 1980s occasionally i mean it was horrible but yeah, I find, I'm outraged when I can't get online. Or I, I still go. I was in a place last night that I've always had a bad connection there for some reason. And someone asked me a question. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, all right, I'm here. I can't bring it up. And I'm like, ah, 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 you know, this like it makes me crazy. Um, it, it's it's funny how easy you just slip into this. You know, you forget the years of want, <laughs> you know, so easily. But yeah, I was. Just... Yeah, your daughter. God, she's. I mean, she's so young. She's never. I, my my son won't watch black and white movies. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, dude, you would love King Kong. He's like, yeah, not doing it. Yeah. I'm like, I, <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. What, what you know? Nope. Yeah, one yeah, of my generation. first like tech. No, I have, I very clearly remember computers with before the internet. Um, we had Apple II yeah. and a couple in there. But I remember when we went from we had a was it fourteen four. Something like mm -hmm. that. Dial yep, up to like thirty three six maybe or whatever. I think it was a twenty eight. I think was the big, oh there you go. <laughs> the big, I remember yep. Dad came home. We had the fourteen four and we were trying to download stuff. And Dad came home all excited with the twenty eight eight or whatever. And mm -hmm. I think fifty six k had just been announced or something. And right. I remember getting that modem set up, just sitting there watching and thinking like, "This is the high. This is it. This is as good as it gets." <laughs> I nope. T one was, was just as good as it gets for a little while. Remember and then. I, I was in one of the first places in the country that had um, cable access. And because Phoenix was flat, it was easier to wires. I have no idea. But the people that installed it were there half the day. Some of them were wearing those Intel bunny suit type mm -hmm. things. It was like a science fiction movie. They were doing stuff up and down the street and then the next block over. It was all, it was a whole process. Now they just mail you something and you're like, you're online. <laughs> you know? And the speeds are stupid. Like, I mean, comparatively. Um, but at the time, I mean, and Windows was so crappy back then, everyone who had cable access, you could go into my network places or whatever it was called, or my net, whatever the hell it was, and you could see all the computers. And if they had shares, you could see all their files. And if they had a printer, you could print to them. Yeah. And my friend and I used to print, rent, send, send each other raunchy photos that would slowly print out on our stupid printers. And you'd be like, oh, what's this? And you're like, oh, come on, dude. What? <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. Different God, I, still, yeah. I probably could have gotten in trouble for this one in college. So where I went to college, it was they had a it was the first it, it was a trial for WiMAX. I'm sure I've talked about this at some point. Remember WiMAX, WiMAX was before yeah. LTE. It was the competing mm -hmm. standard, like Sprint adopted WiMAX, Intel was backing it. And so okay. when they were doing a trial, like before it was commercialized, they did it at my university and they gave so it was it was they won like some stupid award, like most connected campus on the world or whatever, because nice. they were trialing WiMAX and everybody could go get a free WiMAX dongle for whatever. Oh, what boy. And there, and there were like banners everywhere. It's like, test it out, be part of the futures or whatever. So what mm -hmm. I did was I set up a server uh, with a whole bunch of <clears throat> gray legal content to share with my buddies and everybody. And I connected it to this sure. thing and I <laughs> quickly realized they couldn't track like anybody. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> because I would, yeah. we were sending a lot of data over that connection, and they clearly had to try to figure something out. And all they could do was just block IP addresses. But to change your IP address, especially on something like that, it was just you just effectively <laughs> plugged just and unplugged like it. Good, basically, yeah, exactly. So that's where I learned how to write a stupid script. And <laughs> thankfully, they never yeah. found me, but they were trying to find me for a while or find the the box. I just wrote a script that, like, every forty five minutes or whatever the time was, it would just flush the ip address right, right. And just rotate it through i love this um i love that you were like uh, steve wozniak you know doing like what was that thing he used to do with the bl the blue phone or whatever oh, yeah. it was called like the, he was to hack yeah. the phone system his was slightly more complex <laughs> than grab the dongle from 
uh, the I don't, free was box it? of dongles. <laughs> I don't, I might, maybe not. Yeah. And then uh, you needed to generate a tone that would let you get through and make free long distance calls. This is not complicated, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, oh, it's, man, I, it's, it's the dumb thing was, is all, <laughs> all that it was, or mostly what it was, I think was just music, right? Just downloading. Of course. This yeah. is the Napster yep. era for people who are like, what year did you go to college? Like this is Napster. This is a LimeWire Napster era. And right. Got a little box and connected it with a Wi-Fi dongle, just plugged into the wall. Or, or WiMAX dongle, I should say. And those, that dongle right. was big. I wonder if I still have it. I'm the type of person who went through it. I love that, that you might have this. I would never have something like this still, but um, anyway, yeah. Anyway, so that was just sitting in the room. Of course, my roommate was pretty dumb. He was like, what are you doing? It's like, just don't How worry did you even it. connect to your computer? It was, uh, was USB even a thing? I mean, maybe. Uh, it, USB was a thing. <clears throat> but it I mean, was like USB 1 or I feel whatever. Like the, I don't remember modems like what we, I mean, I was probably like a parallel or serial connection. I don't, re, I actually yeah, don't remember. No, it definitely wasn't, wasn't that. Right. Um, HDMI was around because I remember. Really? <laughs> like how this worked and what this was used a lot for was I used to sell computers <laughs> with yeah. Stardock products on it. Legitimately, this is how I met Brad. Waddell, That's hilarious. That's was, great. I was building like media center boxes, right? And so mm -hmm. I used Object Dock, which we just revived. Uh, mm -hmm. and people would, I would sell these computers to friends or whatever, and then they could sit on their couch and use the media center remote. Remember those things? And using object doc, you could navigate to whatever. And then yep. what it would happen is, is there was, they would have a hard drive in the, in the box. Right. Mm -hmm. And I would load it up with the stuff. We'll just call it legal stuff. And then like sell the box to my friends or whatever. I sold a couple dozen of them. And so then I used this little server that people could then access if they wanted to update with more music. Like, so yeah, you can see uh, how this went down and realize, eh, I think I'm past the statute of limitations on this. So, wow. <laughs> Anyways, I, wow. Okay. Let me see if this Google query still works. So, uh, internet most connected camp camp. Oh, I'm using Bing. So definitely not, uh, campus. <laughs> why Max? You, I can't believe you still, you, We've, how many years have we been doing the show? And every oh, time no. you bring up Bing, I think to myself, you, an angel has died somewhere. <laughs> or, a, you know, or whatever whatever the term is. Like, what are you doing? Uh, it still does come up. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Not the, I don't even, I have no idea what the IP address or even what the server address was back then. But you got, and someone's going to be like, well, that doesn't sound legitimate. But anybody who's been on a college campus, especially during like the oh early Oh my God, are you kidding me? knows yeah. that if you plugged into the wall or the network stuff, you could see the entire population, right? Like, uh, yeah, that's what I, yeah. So and that's what I was... back then was eh. <laughs> like when, when windows XP launched at the launch event, you could connect to every Wi-Fi network that Microsoft had set up for yeah. themselves because there was no such thing as security, yeah. which, you know, was a little part of the big problem that led to the, you know, trustworthy computing, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, yeah, our kids would not understand how no. wild west <laughs> this stuff was. No, you could, you, could um, print to any, you could print to any printer. Like, it was just open. Like, if you could go find a printer and you just need to find the one closest to you and you click it and hit print, or you could see right. every shared network drive to ever yep. exist. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> when you I, plugged I, into those networks. Yep. Oh, man, there's some neurons connecting that haven't been connected in a while. I, there's a an oral history here that needs to be written down i think yeah, so this was back in the time when what was it the rc rca was the brand rcia what was that group that was suing people for like downloading oh, music yeah, and yeah, scheduling? Yeah. <laughs> yep the um recording industry yeah. riaa maybe all right that's what it was and that's how i ended up building that little server box is because i i was afraid that it was going to be connected to me because it was just using a shared drive because again everybody could connect to it and there so I were built a couple of individuals little... who i believe were on the hook for about a million bucks yeah. for, for firing music, which is this yeah, we'll today would there. be like people are like, what, what happened here? What, this what internet, is... this episode might not make it to the internet. 